guys welcome back to my channel today i will show you how to convert these bushings here on the front wheels of your lawn tractor to an actual ball bearing like this and today i'll be doing this on this snapper lawn tractor here it'll be the same procedure on all other lawn tractors who don't already have bearings in the wheels and today's video only applies to the front wheels not the back I'll jack up the machine here just enough to get it off the ground. Now I'll just pop this cap off. Now on some other machines here you may have a rubber cap like this. You can pull it off by hand or with a pair of pliers if it's on really hard. Then what you can do is use a heat gun or hair dryer to heat it up to make it softer to pull off. And now what you want to do is find the clip here and get it off. Now all you're going to need now is a hammer and a pin punch. This bushing here will be easy to take off. Just flip the tire over. This one's higher inside the rim here, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first of all, just get your pin punch inside on an angle like this to get the edges of the bushing. And it's a bit messy if people uh, actually maintain their machine. There'll be lots of grease in there. Now this bushing here did not need to be replaced. I'm doing this video here today for educational purposes. Now since this bushing is further out on the rim, I will kind of hold the tire like this. And I'll just knock it out like that. There we go. Look at all that grease. Now the bearings I'm using today are Stens part number 215-211. You're going to get two of these bearings in this kit. And they do come pre-greased. However, you can still add grease in the wheel to get in the bearings. And here's the grease fitting on the wheel. Most lawn tractor wheels have a grease fitting like that. So even though you put bearings, it's still good to throw in some grease in there. Okay, so now you just insert your bearing here. Now you might find that sometimes it'll go in loose like that whereas the bushing went in tight. If you want the bearing to be tight in there, all you need to do is just go tap the sides of this a bit with your hammer. Just hit it lightly like I did and now your bearing will go in nice and tight. And I'm going to use the old bushing here. And now the bearing's in there tight. And I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. I'll just clean this up here first. And that's it guys, the bearings are nice and tight in there. Now you cannot over grease this, these wheels turn so slow that even though there's a lot of grease in there, the bearing will not overheat. And I'm actually going to reach in here and add a bit more grease right inside. Nice and smooth bearings. Now just put the washer that went back here and the clip. 
And to get the clip right in, I grab a pair of pliers, get right in there and squeeze it. And now all you got to do is put the cap back on. And that's it. So a lot of you guys watching today might be wondering, well, why do you want to switch out your bushings for bearings? Well, bearings are much better. It's a much better uh, fitting between two parts. They're less maintenance, they're smoother, and they don't wear out the shaft that the bearing or the bushing goes on. So what I've got here is a front end of a lawn tractor to show you why bearings are superior. When you install bearings, what happens is the outer part of the bearing turns, the inner race is stationary on the shaft here. So when your bearings wear out, you're not wearing out your shaft at the same time. If you have bushings, what happens is the bushings turn with the wheel on the shaft and you're also wearing your shaft at the same time you're wearing the bushing. So I get a lot of customers who have never maintained their machine, they bring them in, the bushings are shot and also these shafts here which is all part of this, this part right here. So you have a much more costly repair than a $10 bearing. In a lot of cases I end up having to replace the bushings or convert them to bearings and also replace this part as well because it's so worn out that even if you put new bushings or bearings it's full of play. So that's the advantages of having bearings guys. It's smoother, less maintenance, it will last longer and it does not wear out this part at the same time. That's what I like about it. See that? The bearing just turns on its own. The inner race is just stationary on the shaft. And for the price of these bearings guys even if you do it to your own machine it's well worth it and here's the actual number on the bearing here you might be able to locate just that bearing with uh, using this number here anyway so that's what I do to my customers who want to switch to bearings it's much much better guys so thanks again for watching guys and you can see me in my next video have a good day